Hey, and we're off. Shalom, children of, children of the Most High. Shalom, siblings. Hey, y'all, us, we. <laughs> oh, we are all well today, according to the will of our Abba. Hallelujah. I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get straight into this word, because I know I sound horrible. Well, not horrible. I'm getting better, but it's not the best, okay? So, handy dandy notebook, per usual. Hallelujah. Um, so, today, I have yet another question. Bless y'all. And also, um, a charge, right? A charge for us as children of the Most High for being proactive in this walk. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For being intentional, um, and as as we've been doing thus far, really checking our mental, checking our intentions, right? Checking ourselves, our voice in our head. And so, do you know the difference between knowing truth and believing truth? Okay, believing truth is a hope. I hope Yah's word um, applies to my life. I hope. He will take care of me today. I hope that he will do those things in which he said he will do. I hope, okay? Knowing truth is a certainty. It's walking and that's what imuna is, right? People like to equate imuna to faith. And faith is a part of imuna. But imuna is further than just faith at the basic level, right? Imuna is knowing that you know without a doubt, even when you doubt, that Yah is, okay? And that's what knowing truth is. Knowing truth is knowing that you know without a doubt, even when you do doubt, that Yah is. So even when you are uncertain, you are so sure that Yah is, that uncertainty cannot trump over your certainty that Yah is. Pay attention, because I, I know it sounds like, what? But really, knowing our Abba is our Abba. Knowing that he is sovereign and perfect and just and is all-powerful and is in all authority in any and every single intricate detail of your life, right? Knowing that even when situations get rough, even when, you know, we were talking about the reality, even when reality wants you to believe that there is no way that y'all could turn this situation around. There is no way that y'all could be glorified in this. There is no way that you are going to survive this. Even when reality is saying that, even when you are sometimes believing reality, knowing Yah's truth will not allow that belief to overtake you, overtake your worship, overtake your praise, overtake your mindset, overtake your outlook, overtake your perspective, overtake your response to any situation, any circumstance. Does that make sense? Okay. So knowing that truth, I mean, knowing truth is a certainty. And so we need to ask ourselves on a regular basis, is our experience in this life reflecting what we know to be true or what we hope to be true, okay? So I encourage you, I charge you to take time to reflect on, on your life and stay current, okay? Don't go off the deep end reflecting on past things in which you absolutely have no control over. It cannot change. It happened. It's, that's there. Stay current, okay? Stay in your now and think about the choices you are currently making and determine if you are making choices and decisions based on hope or truth, okay? With that, take some time to read Psalm 119, okay? Preferably, all right, or preferably, however you want to, okay? Um, The whole chapter. Yes, it's a lengthy chapter, okay, but... So is the episode of whatever it is that's on Netflix, okay? Take time to read Psalms 119. And if you need to break it up, okay, break it up. Specifically, the whole chapter, in particular, verse 160, right? Um, And then and then to go further, our Abba wanted me to also highlight this. Be who Yah has told you to be, okay? Without fear of what happens next, without anxiety about how it's going to unfold, be anxious for nothing, okay? That doesn't mean, 
oh, it, it doesn't only mean like a lot of times when people say, oh, be anxious for nothing. That means like, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about it. It'll come. Also, be anxious for nothing means like, yo, don't be so busy trying to control the outcome. Don't be so busy trying to navigate how our Abba is going to do what he's going to do. That's out of your jurisdiction. That's none of your business. Our responsibility as children of the Most High is to obey him. Okay? Do what he says without fear or assessment of outcome. If he told you to go, then go. If he told you to leave, then leave. If he tells you to stay, then stay without wondering how, when, why. Stay. If he tells you to stay. If he tells you to start a business, start a business. If he tells you to stop a business, stop one. Whatever he said is for you to do, do so without murmuring, without worry, doubt, or fear. Because moving, okay, or being stagnant, either or, don't don't assume because you aren't doing anything that you that you're moving how you're supposed to be moving, and don't don't assume that because you have motion within your being that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. If you are doing either of those things with fear, doubt, or worry, you are just giving yourself a fancy way of believing that what you're doing is. Is right, but it's not. I'm going to tell you, if you are moving with fear, doubt, murmuring, okay, worry, anxiety, any of those things, what you're doing is you're calling our Abba a liar to his face. That's what you're doing, okay? So, fear, doubt, and worry is saying that you don't believe our Abba. Fear, doubt, worry, murmuring, unbelief, all of those things saying that y'all cannot be trusted. Now, I don't know about you, but as a matter of fact, yes, I do. I know for a fact, and everyone who knows our Abba, in their lives, Yah's track record is exquisite. Exquisite. And so for you, us, we, to move in doubt, fear, worry, or to do things with murmuring, right? A spirit of murmuring, just, I don't know why I have to do this. And I can only tell you what I know, okay? Experienced it. I don't know why I have to do this. I've even said out my own mouth, why do I always have to be the bigger person? Um, why do I always have to, you know what I mean, try to change the situation? Why do I have to be the positive light all the time? Um, what else? Are some other things. I would, what else you want me to highlight? Why do I always have to be the one to do right amongst a whole bunch of people that are doing wrong? Um, why do I always have to be the strong one? Why do I always have to lift other people up? Don't murmur. Don't murmur. Do what y'all asked you to do with joy and thanksgiving in your heart. With they knowing that he is a Elohim that rewards. Okay? Not do those things because you want to be rewarded. But do those things knowing that you will be. Because that's what our Abba said. Okay? He's not going to make you plow. Okay? And not feed you. Alright. So, don't let... Don't don't be out here trying to convince yourself, nor let anyone or anything else convince you that our Abba is a liar because he is not, all right? And if you are unclear or uncertain about any aspect of your journey, ask him. He freely gives wisdom to all who ask of him and know him to honor his word. Don't go in there with doubt and unbelief and hope. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, joy, and a knowing that he will honor his word. Knowing that he is looking out for you in each and every way. Knowing that he will complete the work in you that he has started. Knowing that you can trust him and you can believe his word. Hallelujah. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Shalom. Glory to the most high. I love y'all. See you.